Um, Bill, when you when you were um, uh, at Ward Melville, no, it's one of the top high school programs, not the top high school program, in the 80s and 90s. What percentage of goals do you think were scored from outside 12 yards? Okay, on, on a grass field, on an astro dirt field where there was bad bounces. Now you know, we all have turf, right? So, Joe Collins, what percentage of our goals last year were scored outside 12 yards? Less than 10%. Nobody had a, nobody had a shot that was hard enough. I mean, this is 12 yards right here. Okay, I'll say, so on defense, what we have to do is we have to give up outside shots, not give up inside shots. And what else, John, what, what do we want to give them? Their strong hand or their weak hand? We want to give them the strong hand. No, we want the strong hand. Yeah. We want to give them the weak hand. So what our kids have to realize, we'll go over individual defense first. Uh, Bill Collins, go out there. Bill, you play him. Take the ball at the hash mark. Okay. Now the first thing, Bill's behind. Do we want to make him go lefty or let him come across the field righty? We want to make him go lefty. So what we, what we, what we really want to do is that ball up on the left and not let him go. Take a step to the left. Step to the left. We want to really teach the kids to just take away straight and force him down the side. Okay, because I would say it's more prevalent in the uh, you know at the rec levels of not being able to uh, be able to score with the off hand, and uh, you know they teach in basketball you draw a line and you got to be right on that line. We want to draw a line and we want to have our whole body on the other side of that line. We want to teach teach kids how to play the proper defense. Now. If he wants to stop him from going across the field, where should his left foot be? Forward, yeah. even, or back? Forward. It's got to be forward so he can stop him. Okay. And I don't know if you guys remember the Princeton team we played last year. What we have determined at the high school is there's no such thing as a good shot outside the half marks. Right, so you got, you got, we got nice lines here on our football field. You won't have them, but you might want to set them up in the fourth grade. Because here I'm 15 yards away, and goalies can stop that. And when I get to 10, this is really about 15 yards. We're on a diagonal, but we have the angle. So we're trying to, we're trying to force kids out away. Um, we have a concept. Let's, uh, let's do, uh, do the, are you three guys a defenseman? You're defensive, defensive, who are you? No, you're a defensive guru. Okay. So you three guys are playing the middies and you three guys are playing the attack. Alright, so let's say the attackman's behind, let's go play him. He doesn't have the ball, you go behind. Okay, ball's out front up there. You play him, Bill. Play him at the hash mark. At the straight line. Here's a Joe, you play him. Okay. That's, this is horrible defense because we're playing our men instead of the ball. So what we want to do is, when the ball is out front, everybody's in front of the goal. Okay. And when the ball is over there, we are going to be inside 10 yards and inside the half. So Bill's here. Yeah. Bill, you're still playing your guy at 15 yards or so. Let's say you're playing with 15, move back five. 
and Joe is his backup. Okay, what has this done to the field? Like when, when you look at the field, shock it. We, we, we condensed it. We really condensed it. Okay, so that's uh, you know we call this being inside the wall. Now let's say the ball's behind. Jason, go play the ball behind. We want to be. Everybody has to be inside 10 yards. That's it. That's 10 yards. And again, we have all these guys condensed, and it's much harder. The ratio of when you should look at your player versus look at the ball it is two to one for your own player, one tap for the ball. So it's man, man, ball, man, man, ball. And that should be a drill that we do so that kids get used to. What, what, what do most of our kids do? See, Montez, what do you do? What do you, what do you get yelled at for? Ball watching. People get too concerned with the ball. Uh, the ball, you know, the ball doesn't move that much, you know. My man's moving, okay, here, I check the ball, okay, that one's moving, I check the ball, okay, I'm moving. Okay, basketball is opposite, you're always looking at the ball. Of course we want to be looking at our man because they cut, and it gets a little intriguing. So th this concept, as far as being inside the 10 yard line, and being inside the hashes that we really have to teach. Okay, any, any questions on that? Well, we'll break.